So if I were to sum up interaction design in a sentence, I'd say that it's about shaping our everyday life through digital artefacts for, for work, for play uh, and for entertainment. When we go out and buy something for our house, we don't just buy a toaster because it will toast things for us. We buy it also because of what it looks like, what it says about us. With an electromechanical object, like a radio for instance, you have a mixture of physical mechanical things and electronic things. But with computer things, there isn't that necessary connection between physical things and virtual things, things on the screen. So you can actually design them so that what we see on the screen can be completely unconnected to what's going on inside the computer. One of the things I think we need is a clear mental model of what it is that we're interacting with. So for instance, HyperCard, which was an, an early scripting system on the Apple, had a very clear mental model which was of a stack of cards. You need to know where you are in the system. You need to know what you can do next, where you can go, and what's going to happen when you've gone there. And I think that the, the Star interface and the Apple Macintosh interface were very, very important in this way, that with a menu at the top of your screen, you have laid out for you all the possibilities. And it's very clear to see how you access them, what you can do, and what's going to happen. How can we make sure that people don't have to think about how to interact? A very nice example of this, I think, was in Quark Express, where you could zoom in a very simple way. You just didn't think about it at all. You just did it. Driving a car is another example of something that, having learnt it, we do instinctively. We don't need to spend very many mental cycles on the actual driving path. We can talk to our friends, no, uh, we can think about what we've got to buy on our shopping list, and we can do them all simultaneously. When we design a computer-based system uh, or a machine, we're designing not just what it looks like, but how it behaves. And we're designing the quality of the way we interact with it. And this is really what interaction design is. It's designing this quality. When I move my mouse, for instance, does it, does it feel sluggish? Is it nippy and uh, sprightly? If you're playing a game, the kind of interaction and the kind of attention you're prepared to give to it is very different from if you're programming your central heating, for instance. If you're designing a fire alarm system, the last thing that you want is something that's kind of difficult to find your way around and intriguing. You want it clear, unambiguous, direct. Interaction design needs a fusion. It's not just visual, it's not just sound, it's a mixture of things that happen over time, visual things, sonic things, moving images, and we need to draw on existing disciplines to make a new type of design, which is interaction design.